Hi there. I'd just like to speak to you for a few minutes. And it's not like I'm qualified to speak about this. I'm not. But then again, we're all qualified to speak on anything we want to speak about, right? And one of the wonderful things about being a global, a part of a global society is that we all, all now have access to YouTube and we can, we can express what we think. You can express what you think. I will respect that and please respect what I have to say to you. I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked when that documentary on Buffy St. Marie came out. Because here's a woman who has a whole body of work in music, in art. She has touched so many lives. She has made us all proud, whether we're Native American or not, whether we're Canadian or not, whether we're North American or not. She's part of our global society. Some of the songs she has written and performed, they go deeper, 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 deeper than any songs you could pretty much hear anywhere. I mean, Universal Soldier? Wow. So for some silly network <laughs> documentary to come along and suggest after much investigation, that, that we should not admire her because perhaps she has told a lie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> She's what, 82 years old? We love Buffy. She is an amazing woman. She has inspired so many people with not only her music, her art, her TV performances, her interviews, but it's all about like who she is. She has, she has made us proud. <laughs> so for them to come along and try to tear her down is ridiculous. And I'm outraged. I'm outraged, really. And I'd just like to say one more thing about this, because I don't want to go on and on about this. But I think, you know, when someone asks you who you are, and you, you blithely state your name, and they ask you what you do, and you blithely state what you do, and it's like, this is your identity, you know? What your name is, what you do, where you live, perhaps what your role is. Yes, let's talk about your role. Are you, are you a wife? Are you a husband? Are, are you a parent? Are you a child? Do you have siblings? You know, these are the roles we play. Let's remember these are the roles we play and these are the labels we put on ourselves. This is not who we are. Who we are goes much deeper than that. Much deeper. And just by way of example, and this is just my personal example. It's a small example compared with, you know, what's going on with Buffy. But I was born in Europe. And I came over uh, to North America, to Canada, uh, when I was almost three years old. I don't think of myself as a European. No, not at all. Even though I speak another language besides English, I do not think of myself as a European. I do not really associate with the country of my birth. Um, I'm Canadian. I love this country. I love the land. I feel a really deep connection to the land. And I'll tell you something that really kind of surprised me. When I went down to the States to study with a shaman, this was, um, oh, I don't know, about 15 years ago, one of the things that we did in that course that I was taking to build up my shamanic skills um, was we did a ghost dance. And this is, um, this is a ceremony where the shaman drums and all the participants in the class um, dance around. 
they soul dance to the drumming and they allow themselves to go into trance and as they allow themselves to go into trance deeper and deeper when they feel that they're just about in trance they allow themselves to gently drop to the floor and journey within themselves and the journey of that day the journey for the ghost dance is to go back to the ceremonial rites of your ancestors. Well, when I participated in this, I actually had no, no preconceived notions about this. I'd never heard of it. I was willing to do it. Let's just see what happens, right? And so um, I went into trance, I dropped to the floor, and I journeyed. And what I saw, much to my surprise, were ceremonial rites of Native Americans. Yes. Canoes, totem poles, sage, fires. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it just, you know, how can I put it? It, uh, it surprised me. I mean, it didn't surprise me right then when it was happening in my mind, when I could see it. But when I came back to normal reality, it very much surprised me. Because who was I to go back to the ceremonial rites of Native Americans? Now, does this mean I'm Native American? Uh, I don't think so. However, you know, I think I can proclaim myself to be anyone I want to be. You know? And I admire Buffy. Don't do this to her. I mean, it just... <laughs> it just wrenches me when I think about it. Don't. Don't. You know? Okay, that's all I have to say about it, so... <laughs>